think that's the tutorial. We are going to go cloud with some conclusions. Yeah. I hope you have enjoyed or uh, at least uh, learned something or, or not. <laughs> we have to know everything before. So the main conclusion here is uh, that the structure of high-level semantics from text is useful in MIR and in musicology. But of course, there is already a need of new methodologies to really exploit this semantic information. So we just try some ideas uh, and get some results, but there are a lot of possibilities. Then we have seen that word embeddings and deep learning opens a new world of a lot of possibilities. Um, there is a lot of research that can be done using this, and now this is really the, the things that everyone is publishing in conference about well, deep learning and word embedding. Um, also, this tutorial was an initial attempt to, to boost the interaction between NLP and MIR communities. And what we want is to convince people in MIR that use text features is interesting or, or use combine text with audio, not only use audio, and also convince people in NLP that music corpora is interesting and they should um, create data sets for them to try the uh, applications, the approaches, and so that's it. Uh, we have here a list of the different data sets we have for similarity, classification, recommendation, based on artists, songs, biographies, albums, so they are all freely available. And so if you don't have the, the slides at the end, <coughs> please. Also the knowledge base that we have been. And um, okay, the challenge we are going to well, just a, a reminder that there is this uh, task three challenge with focused musical <coughs> entity recognition and extraction in the context of the European Semantic Web Conference in Porto Lodge. So those of you who, uh, it seems to be a very um, um, a famous place to be there because last year there was a wreck there too. Um, and yeah, it's a challenge where we invite P uh, uh, systems to perform the identity recognition and linking in a semantic web context. So uh, there are certain requirements in terms of format. Um, and uh, this is, uh, as far as we know, the, the first time that a proper shared task is, is presented for <coughs> in, the, in the intersection between, between uh, natural language processing and music information retrieval. Um, there will be there are two subtasks. One of them is the recognition, and the other one is the linking. Uh, systems are <coughs> invited to, to to do to do well in both, but it's possible to only participate in one of the two subtasks. And uh, in addition to uh, the overall winner of the whole open knowledge information extraction task, which is three subtasks, us because of the funding and support by Maria de Maestro, we're going to have a. a Cash prize for this for this task on its own. We are uh, uh, we are we don't know uh, the quantity yet, but it's going to be uh, enough for uh, researchers because we do science, so we don't know too much about money. So whatever, whatever we get is going to be good. Um, and yeah, it's uh, those who who want to participate, uh, please get in touch with with Sergio, myself, or or Alvin, who is uh, uh, getting. In charge of the uh, <coughs> presentation, and yeah, I think that's it for the challenge. Yes. Um, okay. Ah, well, here is an example of the challenge. Who you say you? So, in the challenge, there are documents like this, and uh, the the task is to identify the the type. Like, okay, some Simon and Garfunkel. Well, first identify what is the entity. Simon and Garfunkel, which type is, is an artist, and what is the ID in music brains. So this is the um, so these are the images. So this should be the output of the system. This is for entity recognition and this is for entity. Um, so here we can see some like Paul Simon, for example, here is the releases of the self-titled album Paul Simon. Paul Simon, here is the album because Paul Simon has an album called Paul Simon. So these are the kind of problems in speaking we, we like to remark. 
Where is the conference? It's in, in the Slovenia. When? when? Ah, when? It's the last uh, week of May. And the deadline for the challenge is the 10th of March. And so this is my favorite slide of the presentation. <laughs> the field work because now okay, I'm finishing my thesis and perhaps as many of the of the researchers that have done a thesis, when they are at the end of the thesis, they want to work in other things that are not the ones that he, they have been working for the thesis. And because they realize you now what oh, this is really the, the most interesting part. So for me, now really the the, the the, the hype or the, the, the most interesting part of the interaction between NLP and MIR might be in chatbots, question answering systems, or in the combination of deep learning and semantics, in multimodality, in deep learning, like I explained before, or using generative, deep generative models that are able to generate audio from text or text from audio. So, what is so if anyone wants to start a thesis on on the and my or something like that, I would, I would really say that here there is a lot of space for research and, and you can get very, very fantastic results. I think in the future we will see a lot of this. And that's it. Thank you very much to all of you for these three hours here at studying. <laughs> uh, if you have any <coughs> question, idea, or suggestion. Uh, about the, the multimodal part that you presented at the end, do you have, uh, are there results about how much you've improving the, the task of recommending or whatever? Well, I have good results when I was in Pandora. Uh -huh. um, it improves. So the thing is the, the text very sad. Use the independence on the on the task, but the test can be very very strong. And the thing is that if you are using in this case artists in one side and songs in the other side, so you have like text representation of the artist or or tags or whatever of the artist, and you have audio of the song. So if you want to really go fine grain in the recommendation, if you use the audio of the song, you you improve the result. But if you also combine with information from the artist, because text-based classification is very strong, so text features are stronger than audio features. So this is the, the, the trade-off. So you can in, combine them, then you, you, you can improve. So this is, but I don't have published nothing. And, and I am working on that, and I hope to, to have a paper with this. Uh,